Hi guys, um, I just wanted to um, address uh, an issue of uh, whether or not um, you should iron your gi. Uh, I talked recently about hygiene. Now, um, some people, it seems to me, um, seem to take some pride in having very dirty gis, that it shows how hard they've worked or how much they've sweated. And um, to be honest, I don't really see that logic because just because you've sweated doesn't mean that sweat has got to stay there and turn yellow and make your gi look disgusting. Uh, I've seen that time and again where, where the gi just go horrible now. Now, um, to be honest, yellow sweat is uh, a sign of poor diet anyway. Um, my my gi has gone very yellow under the armpits and it just I can't wash it out, I can't stain it out, it's just gone yellow, it's disgusting. Um, but the general gi, my, my general body sweat, um, doesn't make my gi go yellow, I wash it. As soon as I sweat in it, I, I wash it. Um, but some people seem to want to leave it on there for, you know, wear the same gi five, six, seven, ten times, whatever, however long it takes to make the gi go yellow. Um, and um, I can only think that's just disgusting. Who wants to w work with somebody, partner with somebody whose gi is, is rancid with their sweat? even if it doesn't s smell, you know. Um, but when it comes to ironing your gi, now that, that's a different matter. Now, personally, um, I never iron a gi just to train in. Uh, I hate ironing, so there's that. But from an environmental point of view, I see no point to use the electricity to make something that is designed to be workwear flat. It's You know, there's no aesthetic need for my gi to be flat. That being said, um, when I'm a representative of GKR, um, particularly at a grading, I'll always make sure that I take the trouble to iron a gi or, or you know, if it's a heavyweight gi. Um, my new GKR heavyweight gi, you've got to iron it every single time because it just wrinkles so badly and there's no way that you can dry it. Um, you know, even if you take it straight out of the machine and hang it, it, it still wrinkles badly, so you just have to iron it. But the older heavyweight geese, they kind of, you, you hang them over the bath and then have a bath, and, and the steam, they just the, the wrinkles kind of come out of it a bit, and it doesn't look too bad. And I wouldn't mind being in front of students like that um, at all, but, but obviously if you look like a scruff bag, then that's a different matter. You know, you are a representative of, of a club, and you, you want to be professional in, in the in the um, image you give, but whenever I'm in sensei training, I feel absolutely no compulsion whatsoever to iron my gi. In fact, quite the opposite. You know, I, I feel that it's um, helping the environment. And um, I, I, yeah, you know, I, I, I know lots of people who, who feel the same. So it's your choice, you know, if you, to iron or not to iron, but, but I, there's, there's, no, there's no etiquette reason why you should. Um, that being said, I guess, um, if you wanted to get really into the philosophy of the Do of karate, you could talk about the perfection side, where, where you want everything to be just so. I mean, um, Japanese culture, uh, Japanese Budo culture is, is steeped in ritual, and um, I don't know if there is a, a specific ritual to having ironed clothes or clean clothes. Um, certainly there are rituals for how you fold a gi and how you tie a belt, so it wouldn't surprise me if there was some ritual associated with, with um, gi cleanliness and gi ironing, but, but if there is, I don't know of it. Um, perhaps if you know of such rituals, you might share them with me. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please take the time to rate and comment, and it would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe. Thank you.